What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Rat's Den. Today we're going to talk about Mortal Kombat 1 and how to mod um, the game on PC. Now, as you can see here, I'm already here at Nexus uh, Mods and there's just a bunch of cool mods out there. Uh, I think they just released, you know, MK11 Deception Sub-Zero. There's an MKX announcer there. But there's tons and tons of um, mods out there already for Mortal Kombat 1 and I just wanted to go through the process of how to make some of these mods work. Not all of them, obviously, I won't cover all of them, but I'm going to go ahead and just show at least the replacement of uh, skin process and all that. And I'll also forward a link in the description that, that basically was the initial way to install the mods and set them up. But I had some kind of confusion and I was kind of curious of why it was mentioned, but I will clarify that here as well. With that said, let's just go into what you need to download. First and foremost, the MK12, the Tiny's Hook. That's I think that's the name of the modder. And you'll need to download this in order to make all of the skins work and other modifications as well. And this also is handy um, to the point where you actually can use your, your modded files online as well. Just a word of caution, um, anytime that you do use modified files, potentially that might put you a ban out there. I don't think that this should be a grounds for banning. We're simply merely using the ability to, you know, look at skins on our end. I don't think it will show skins on the other side of a player while you're playing them online. But it's just, you know, just fun because there are lots of games out there, for instance, like Starfield and Skyrim that just have these crazy mods to them. And sometimes they enhance the game and they just make it more fun. So um, this actually does make it to the point where I enjoy seeing sub-zero and scorpion and you know smoke for that matter but um with that said just be cautious uh i would say every time there's an update to the actual game itself um uh, probably disable your mod just in case uh so that the, the modders can release an update to the current patch of the game uh so that it does reflect and does not um uh, interfere or potentially maybe result in the ban all right, so with that said, the Tiny Hooks mod. So this, again, is necessary in order for you to run other types of modifications, uh, like skins and sounds and things of that nature. But for today, we're just going to cover skins, and I will let you figure out the rest on your own. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and download this mod here. So just visit this particular mod and hit manual. It'll take you to the mod page. Hit slow download, wait five seconds, and let's go back and grab one more. This MK2 Sub Zero and Scorpion, I think they look very, very awesome in this game. So, we're gonna go ahead and download that one as well. Okay, so what I've done here is I've downloaded the files, I've renamed them to kind of organize them the way that I like them, uh, but you can leave them as whatever download files they are. Uh, but with that said, now that we do have both of those files, we need to follow the instructions and install them in the Mortal Kombat folder within our Steam library. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and open up Steam. We're going to visit the Mortal Kombat game and go to the local files here. A window will pop up like this. And you can see here within the content folder, uh, excuse me, binaries. Win64. This is the directory where you will be installing your hook file primarily. And again, these are the files that are necessary in order to run certain mods. You can see here that I do already have MK1 hook in this folder. But for the sake of our exercise, we are going to be placing uh, the tiny hooks files. Again, I'm going to place these as a backup here uh, in the actual folders themselves. But I'm also, now that I want to use these files, I'm going to go ahead and drag them directly into this folder here. So now that we have the base files for the hook, we want to go ahead and edit our uh, .ini file, our configuration file, to make sure that to turn on the mod, right? So that we can see whether or not the mods are actually working. That is the INI file, and we did set it to true. So as far as the mod loader, you are actually already done here. Now what we want to do is we actually want to load a mod or actually bring in a mod to see what happens in Mortal Kombat, right? So you're, you're going to want to navigate back first and foremost to the Mortal Kombat content and packs folder here. Now this is something that I wanted to clarify and I didn't really understand why it was working or not. But the way that the, 
I believe, I don't know if it's the game itself or the loader itself, the game has to load these two files first and foremost, so the global uh, UCAS and UTOC file. Um, what was mentioned in the video is that we want to make sure that when we do bring in our skins into this folder, which we're doing right now, Scorpion and Sub-Zero Classic Skin, drag them over into the packs folder. And at this point in time, it's not a simply drag and click. You actually have to rename your files here. So what we'll want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and rename them to just MK2 starters, right? And that should name all of those files. You'll want to do the same thing for Sub-Zero here again. Go ahead and rename them. And this is where, again, I want to give some clarity. Now that we have our files renamed, um, it's to my understanding that once these global files are loaded, then it will begin in order of events and, and load these packs right here, your character skin. Now, if that, that should clear up a lot of confusion down the line. Make sure whenever you have a skin, make sure that all your skins exist between here and this one pack chunk no editor pack file. So at this point in time, you're pretty much done with installing your first mod. So let's go ahead and test it out. When I run Mortal Kombat, it's going to bring up the console window here, which we have enabled already. And you can see here, the sig check pack chunk and the, the, the tog, they're all patched and ready to go. And now, like say for instance, I wanted to go to practice, or for the sake of just for it working, I like to run the benchmark here. So there you go. Um, personally, I think they did an excellent job of putting the character skins together. Um, I'm kind of curious as whether they pulled them directly from the game itself. I don't know how that works. I'm not a, you know, I don't create the mods myself, but I do know how to use them. Uh, but there's plenty of mods out there. There's all the Mortal Kombat skins for all the ninjas, even including Rain. He does have a UMK3 ninja suit that I have installed on another computer. Smoke also has a UMK3 skin. Reptile has one as well. So they all kind of tend to look very similar to this scorpion here. And this sub-zero here. Right? So again, it's really awesome how they were able to kind of implement this particular style. I again, I prefer these ninjas looks over their their typical skin here um, so I've I've kept them I, I feel like these are the best kind of use cases for them and it looks like they it looks like what Mortal Kombat was meant to be in the first place right? I, I really love these classic ninja skin but so there you have it um, hope that this helps hopes this video was you know kind of cool and you learned something and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to drop a comment in there. I'll try to clarify as much as possible for you. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.